Okay guys, today we're gonna attempt to build some kind of air purifier of some sorts. Now it's not gonna be perfect and I'm not even aiming to make it perfect. That, if you came here to see something perfect, you might be on the wrong channel. And by perfect, I mean the cool, cute looking stuff. I am just gonna try to make something that's to some point at least practical because that's what really matters to me and besides that i just hope you're gonna enjoy this video and especially this hot summer we can probably all benefit from something like this and without wasting time let's start building something and uh, the build will be very easy it will be a box that will have some computer fans and i will intentionally put different sizes of fans that will be in one side will be the uh filter it's just one of those regular filters 18 by 20 by 2 and the fans will be either here or on the side wherever you like to put them and we'll suck the air through here provide you fresh air and take all the dusts and whatever you might have around the room or shop out of your lungs and with that said Let's put it on the side. And the filter I'm using is this uh, Nordic Pure. It's this one, not sponsored by the way, just happened to have these ones. And that's questions and all that made in USA. And let's put it down and start the build out now. So, first things first, I'm not gonna use anything fancy as I stated previously. I will use some of these wood planks that I had left over from a different project floor kind of wood you want to call it yes look i even painted on the back side floorboards which are uh, that kind of fake wood stuff i'm not a big fan but that's what i have and what we're gonna do with it we're gonna cut it to shape and to size and make it work in our favor here we are all about the uh workability practicality and things that matter the beauty can come later if you want to make it better looking but for now we're just gonna start by cutting pieces i will do it long ways because sideways it would be too short i wanted to have a better chance of sucking all the air that's possible so i will cut this uh, piece of wood really quick here not supposed to cut wood inside unless you have a ventilated shop like here i'm not sure if you can hear the fans and the ac going on on the background while i talk on the microphone but hey i'll try my best okay i changed my mind a little bit on the saw instead of going manual saw i'm gonna cheat a little bit and use one of those handy saws just so i don't have to re-edit and re-record and all that in this video five million times And that's all it took. Two seconds. Boom, boom. Done. Is that all we need? We put this here. And we're gonna cut the other piece. It does, as I said, it's not gonna be perfect. So I'm just trying to do it so it works. And that is the maximum I care about. Okay. So now we have to think how we're gonna place the fans. Now this is top and bottom. We have nothing to do with them. Okay. And when it comes to these two, we don't need to work with both of them either or either. We need to work with one of them. So now we need to cut through it to place the fans. So I will do the big fan on the very bottom because most of the cold air is on the bottom so if you place it on the floor this will have a better chance to suck that air and then we'll go with the other fans and see how many we can place in this one and uh, if we even actually need this whole uh plank but for now that is the plan and we will go with it i just need to do the corners here because i want to leave that part for the screws and now we are in for a treat here and uh, we will try to rough cut all around and see where that goes. So after we have an idea of a rough layout, we're gonna go with the easiest way to actually put them all together. I know, I know a lot of you are gonna say, oh my God, that is the wrong way and all that. Good for you, you know that information, perfect. 
But in my case, I will just go with zippy ties. These things here, yeah, they work really good. And we'll start with the angles first. So we put them two and two. And you'll see later on, this will actually make sense. I know for now it looks stupid, but it ain't. It ain't stupid. As you see, these zip ties, the tiny ones, they fit just perfect enough. And we'll do the same with the other one and we'll continue the whole chain until this becomes one block. And you'll see in the end of the video that this is for a purpose, that you don't need to cut holes on this wood one by one. They will self-insulate. It will make sense in a minute, just be patient. Okay, now I'm gonna tie them all together and uh, we'll see where that takes us. Just uh, how it works, right? Okay, so before I go anywhere else or any further, it would not be a bad idea to actually test them if they work. And I'm just gonna connect. And yeah, I decided not to use probably these tiny ones. They're too small to do anything good, so I'm just gonna stick with the big ones anyway. And we're gonna test if these even work, because if they work, we're in a good place. Ooh, I don't know if the microphone is picking that, but... They sound... Whoa! They sound almost like a small drone. This is great so far. And they blow a lot of air. I mean, a lot. I, I, I could definitely see you could use this as a fan in a room. Actually, this would be a perfect fan. But anyway, let's uh, keep building now. We know they work. Okay, so all I'm gonna cut is gonna be roughly this part, including this here. This whole thing will have to be gone and uh, we'll get our saw and go and uh, do some cuts. That's all. I'm gonna cut them in here and get done with it pretty soon if we can and start putting it together. Okay, so this will not win me any beauty contest. But as long as it works, this is all the beauty I need. And it goes exactly how I wanted it to. Okay, I am ready to rock with it. I have to make some probably small holes there because I just want it to fit a little bit better and I'm just gonna do some zip ties. Yes, that's what I said, zip ties. <laughs> Always with zip ties, there's nothing wrong with them. Okay, so the camera took a hike while I was working on this one, but I'll explain real quick because not that much happened. We put these facades or whatever you want to call here, the fans are here. The box is built, just regular box, yes, with zip ties all around. I put this here at the seam, it's gonna be inside so nobody will see it anyway. Here, I just put a regular switch, just on off switch. As you see right here, I'm gonna put it here with some uh, silicone because I made a poo poo here and I made the hole a little bit too big, but that is not a problem. And here I went with a regular female barrel that you can just connect any of these regular connectors like this one, let me turn back off like that. And the fans turn on, as you see, 
And that's all. It's really beautiful. And the reason I went with that style, it's first of all, only 12 volts. And it's just under two amps of energy being drawn anyway. So that's really not much uh, load. The other thing is that I want to be able to connect it with a car charger or car adapter that it can plug like that. And you plug the other side either on a solar that has one of these or on a car or some solar panels that I have, for example, have these connectors like this. So I can just plug it directly from solar and have fun with it. That's all. Now the rest, I will uh, heat the Ryobi gun here and we'll be doing some uh, insulation. Yes, it will not be the cutest thing you ever seen, but it will be useful and practical. And that is what matters most to me. I know a lot of you might be thinking that I could have done a better job and might could have made it look better, but I don't really have a big interest on looking better. So my biggest interest is for it to work. Yes, I'm gonna go with some silicone here to insulate around them from inside if possible. Now, one piece I don't have here to make this build beautiful would be probably some kind of wrap all around it, which I don't have right now. I'll probably end up ordering it. And here, I would like to put uh, some kind of grill, possibly a piece of metal grill, whatever you call that. So it kind of looks better and it closes it so nobody can stick a finger here. Or an animal, you know, go try to put their whiskers here. And besides that, everything else looks really fine and works really fine in my eyes. Because that is my whole big deal here to make it work and make it functional. The only air that will ever make it through here will be from the filter itself. So now let me put this bead in here. Okay, that looks really good. Let me put some here. And if you're bored with this video so far, Baby Shark is free to watch and listen. You can go give it a try. Maybe it's better. But as for me, I need to finish it this way because that's what I was set to do today. And I said that to myself, by the way, nobody really told me, but when you have a plan, you have a plan and you gotta keep sticking to it. Okay, so our fan is actually ready to go and it works looks like so the filter has been installed in the tightest way possible as you see it is it's not going anywhere and there's no air gaps anywhere now this will be finished probably as i said when i get the other parts that i'm planning to do a complete uh wrap and here I will just put some uh, brackets to so slide this in and there will be a black uh, bracket that goes here and lives and flips back just to hold the uh but for now we're gonna try to turn it on and uh, we'll see how that goes and how that's gonna work so this is our air purifier now let's uh see and plug it first like that and it's on there's zero air leaking and just like that we have an air purifier this is the front of it let me just uh, put a piece of paper or something so you guys can see that it's actually moving it's actually pushing a lot of cool air here by the way let me turn it off That's the envelope. Let me turn it back on. And it works really good. Now look at the side. That's the suction part of it. I can leave the envelope there and let me turn it off. Boom, it fell. So let me put it again at any point. Now it's on. Boom, the envelope stays right there. And let me turn it off. Boom. It, it has a lot of suction. Just so you know, I'm not playing some weird gimmick on you guys. <clears throat> it's on now. Boom. Look.
Turn off. Boom. Okay, so now we have a really beautiful working uh air purifier not the best looking one you've ever seen but definitely a good working one and that's actually what matters most to me let me put it on the side like that and turn back on again oh yeah it's cleaning my table there's the envelope i'm not gonna hold it i'm just gonna leave it kind of levitated and i'm gonna turn off the fans and will it fall boom right away so this works and i don't know what else to say guys just please like and subscribe if you oh <laughs> if you learned something from this video and uh, you can make one of these at home it's seriously that easy it's not the hardest thing now it doesn't look beautiful as you see here but it's extremely useful. And that is what matters, especially on these summer days. It blows a lot. As you see, I'm not I'm not holding the envelope right here. It's just boom. Here the envelope goes. And you can have it in your shop. Oh, one thing I forgot to show you guys what I did that I added when the camera went out. I added these four rubber pieces so it doesn't slide when I put it in the shop or something. And uh, we are ready to actually use it and have fun with it. If you have fans at home, I suggest you can build one of these. Seriously, it is that easy. Yes, hands are dirty, but that is fine. We did a good project. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something and we will see you next time. Bye.